heaven. This is heaven for gearheads. We are in Bobby Alloway's personal garage. Oh my gosh, what a treat. And this was Roadster of the Year. It was uh, 2015? 2015, yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Tell us what you did to the car. Oh gosh, it's so much to tell. Um, car stretch. It's 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 the doors are length, and I mean, there's just there's not one piece of this car that hasn't been touched. It hasn't been modified, but we tried to keep it that you couldn't tell that it'd been modified. It still retains the stock 33 look. That's what I love about your design style because you obviously modify like crazy, but when you look at the car, it looks like what it is. Well, the cars were beautiful to start out with, so why screw it up? I mean, Good there's no sense in changing something for just the sake of changing it, you know. But you change little elements to make it more comfortable or more Well, yes, we do, to give it a little bit more drivability and to give it a little bit sleeker look, like a like little we'll lengthen one a little bit to make them, to make it look like it's, a, and it is longer, but it looks lower and leaner, you know. You know, a lot of times we'll move, a, we'll move the wheelbase in on the front or wheel track suck the tires in and that gives a little lower look too sort of this 37 beside us we just won the street rod of the year with it this car has been lengthened four inches but the hood like like this car and this car the the hood top is stock length we just pulled it out from the bottom we laid the grill forward and on both cars from the bottom it is gorgeous i sat in this car at sema last year it's absolutely stunning i posted it in social media and i got we haven't watched the seat since you haven't what? We haven't oh. any seats in it. <laughs> it's gorgeous red right interior. All right, let's talk about some of the other cars. That's your 71 vet? That uh, yeah, it, well, I'm fixing to tell my age because I had that in high school. So. Unbelievable. And is it all original? It is. It okay, is. so you haven't done anything with that one yet? No, no. I don't intend to. Uh, and then we've got a 40... 49 Ford convertible. It's a full chassis car with a, uh, with a 514 big block Ford in it. Nice. I love the 59 El Camino. Yes. Uh, the 33 Coupe is, uh, I guess that's a car that I'll probably never sell. I've had that car for years and years and years. Now, these are similar paint jobs. Is there a reason why you go with the scheme? Uh, the, uh, the Coupe, when we built the Coupe back, uh, back in hey, the, the, early, the early 90s. Uh, uh, Y'all in here playing cars? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're good. When uh, when we built the coupe back in the early '90s, we built a Roadster to match it, which was similar to this car. Well, then in 1998, lightning struck the building that you were just in and burned it to the ground. We lost 14 cars. This car was in the basement of our house, but the Roadster that was that was the mate to it was uh, was in the building and it burnt. So we built another car for the customer that had the Roadster. Then he ended up selling it. Well, the guy that we built this car for had always wanted that car or one yeah. like it. So that's the reason this car was built. Now, the icing on the cake was that it won America's Most Beautiful Roadster. So. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. And you know what I love about your paint jobs? It's a wild paint job. I mean, it's loud, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. There's nothing uh, cheesy about it. It's it's beyond gorgeous, and there's a reason it won. That's uh, Well, I, I thank you. I, I think so. I always tell people that you want to do something to a car that I tell my wife. I said you want to do something to a car that never st that one thing never stands out on it. She says, well, you flamed it. The flames stand out. And I said, I, I really don't think so. If it's done, if it's done correctly, yes. you should see the whole car, not just the flames. Oh, yeah, like so. I'm looking at the grill and the headlights. Yeah. And it's gorgeous interior and the chrome. Ah, oh, unbelievable. And there's my baby. This is going to be mine one day. 57 Thunderbird that he modified, and it looks like a 57 Thunderbird, but better. And I haven't touched mine yet, but if I if I allow someone to touch it, it would be Bobby. It would be fun to do something to it. And among all the American classics, there's a Porsche in the mix. This is a 59? 59 356A. What do you love about this car? What? <laughs> you and Henry Ford. <laughs> This car's got a, this car's got a unique story. I was at a, a good friend of mine's funeral in California, Boyd Coddington. Yes. I was standing in his parking lot and uh, at the funeral, and uh, a friend of mine called me and asked me if I wanted to buy a Porsche. And I said, No, I don't want to buy one. He had found this car in uh, Hollywood, and uh, I ended up buying it. So it was it was a white car and. 
I brought it in. It needed total restoration. It was a one owner car. And this was one my wife claimed when it came in. She said she had to have it. Oh, so. blame her. <laughs> but she wanted it white. So we, you see, uh, she got the car, but she didn't get the color. She didn't get the color. Wanted. Out of luck on that one. Now, um, so this will go to your wife. Yeah. And then anything, any, any other uh, European cars in, in the mix? No? No, not that I can say. We got a late model Chevy truck over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who drives that? That's mine. Of course it's black, too. <laughs> Um, and then you got a 58 Impala. 58 Impala, yes. I'm very fortunate to find that car. They're very hard to find anymore. So. And what's cool? Or no, we got a Mercedes in the mix here. That, that's my wife's, too. She, uh, she she gets like me. She gets attached to them and don't want to sell them. So. Well, this is an incredible mix of cars. we got a bunch of gorgeous vets over there. Um, Bobby, this was an honor. This Thank is an you. absolute pleasure to be here in your personal collection and to see what you're working on here in Tennessee and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the shows at Shades of the Past and at SEMA and we look forward to seeing you win award after award after award after award <laughs> and another Riddler and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing to be here so thank you thank you thank you so much and all of this brought to you by our good friends at Endurance